in this particular lecture we will start with our simple decompilers with the help of decompilers you can simply reverse engineer your compiled application code to analyze in a more readable format like java language or the kotlin language if you simply try to go with your byte code that was again the compiled format of your java or the kotlin code that was not so easy to read because it's not the high level language byte code was the low level language for your normal cpu for your normal processor part you can say so we will simply convert that byte code into high level languages like your java or the kotlin so we can easily read and easily understand the functionality of the application so for that decompilation we need different software tools so we're gonna use some tools here so let's get started with those tools one by one so here i'm using my kali linux and i already have those applications you can simply download them from the firefox or you will also get this in your course as well so again just open at the terminal here go with right click in the free location go with open in terminals you will open your terminal in the same location here now here we need to use a tool with the name jadex that was one of the tool that you can use for the decompilation with the name jadex j a d x you can use jadex cli version or you can also use the jadex gui version it's again your call which one you want to use so you can go with simple jadex cli or jadex gui as well to install both at the same time just go with simple command sudo apt install and jadex and just hit enter this will prompt you for the password go with the password and hit enter here this will simply download the file for you and install it in your main operating system so now it has been installed so to use this one just write the simple command jadex and you will be able to execute this if you simply write the jadex hyphen hyphen help you will get a list of all the options and all the commands that you can use with the jadex one of the simple command we gonna use this is here you simply use hyphen t for the output directly like where you want to store your results for the results part you need to pass an input as well and your input will be here if you want you can simply pass the compiled byte code here or if you want you can simply pass the entire apk application as well so for the apk part just go with simple jadex go with the application part here let's say my application was stored in slash home slash pen tester and then on my desktop folder and then on my application folder or let's go with a common application with the name diva hyphen beta dot apk i want the output with the hyphen d part the directory where we want the output let's say i want the output on the same location go with slash home slash pen tester slash desktop and i will simply create a folder here with the name diva right and just hit enter jadex will automatically create a folder with the name diva here on my desktop folder and store all the results it will simply extract the application extract the archive and then store it inside this diva folder if you don't want to use this kind of tools like jadex you can simply unzip your application just go with the basic command i'm simply creating a folder with the name unzip diva right the folder name was unzip diva and hit enter my folder has been created move this application first so i'll simply move this file urban into unizip diva folder and then i'll go into that folder unizip diva and then i go with ls here we got the application here if i go with basic unzip command with the urban.apk file and hit enter it will automatically extract all the files and folders inside this compressed archive if i simply go with ls you can see all the resources were there different property files were there different com dot you can say files were there and if you go above you can also get your android manifest file you will get your classes dot text file that stores your java code or the kotlin code because we know java or the kotlin code will be compiled into dot class file and then your dot class file will be translated into your dot dex for your delvic executable files you can simply unzip all the archives from this simple unzip command but but if i simply go with this android manifest dot xml you cannot directly read this file simply go with android manifest dot xml it's a binary file you cannot directly read the content on the other hand if i go with the jdex output with this simple cd 
we first have to go a uh, location back and then we will go with the diva folder and inside diva you can see we got all these folders like resources was there and your source part was also there so let's go with our cd source go with ls hyphen al i simply go with the jacker which again contain the source code out there so after that part you can simply go inside all those folders just go with simple cd asim diva and this contains your java code right so if you simply go with the content for these java codes they were decompiled so java codes right so you can simply go with any java application which is in the readable format right if you simply unzip all those applications all those packages you will not be able to read the content because that was a compiled format or the byte code or the binary format right because of that part you need this kind of softwares or tools like jdx so you can decompile those application and create a readable format of your code if you want you can simply go with gui as well for the gui just go with a basic search go with jdx hyphen gui or you can even execute this jdx hyphen gui from your terminal as well just write the same jdx hyphen gui and hit enter so on the jdx hyphen gui what you have to do is just go with the same locations I'll go with application and let's pick anyone. Let's go with arogyasetu.apk and go with open. So we got the basic code. If you go with the resources, you will get your manifest file here. And you can also see like simple user permission which were asked by your arogyasetu application from the user. Like we got the Bluetooth part, we got the internet part, we got the simple access network state part, and we also get some other permissions like uh, c2dm permission receive part and we also have like blind get install referral service part these are the common permissions that were asked from your user by the arogya setu application like also wake lock and the camera permissions were also asked so these are the basic things about your android applications we're gonna analyze those applications we're gonna analyze those code or those files later on but this was your basic jdx tool which you can use to get the high level structure of your compiled data, compiled applications, right? That's all, that's all from my side in the JDEX. Have a good day and stay connected.